on the answer to all your questions. What is up, YouTube? It's Toku Secrets here to bring you episode 14 of Common Rider Ghost, and I'm your host, Rizwan, aka the Blue Commander, aka the baddest of them all, aka mm. sorry, Ron, I cut you off on this one today. You just gotta deal with. Okay. It. Okay. Okay. <laughs> A.K.A. <laughs> the Cajun Indian. A.K.A. your worst nightmare. And I'm joined oh by... Gosh. What is going on, guys? I'm Nathan Nassa. I am also at the nose on Kamen Rider Forever and the Fafi Sentai Digi Ranger Silver Knight. And also joining us for this review is... Hi, my name is Anthony, also known as Green... Um, Kyoyu Green in the Power Chamber. And I'm also White Angel in Digi Rangers. And I'm also joined by... Okay, I, I was so I was so afraid that, that everyone was just gonna hop in on that. But all right, all right, y'all know y'all know what time it is, okay? It's time. It it's your boy Ronald Budsy, aka the Green Terrier, aka Shadow Lugia, aka the Black Calculator, <laughs> aka Mister Know It All, aka the American Sniper on the <laughs> <Spider -Man. laughs> aka Mister. Mr. Achieve It All, a.k.a. I already achieved it all. <laughs> a.k.a. Rid's still AKA. better. Because <laughs> a.k.a. Kate's an Indian beats Black Calculator. According to my calculations, it doesn't. <laughs> You're not doing the calculations correctly then, my friend? For the calculation? Uh, <laughs> well, no, no, he did not. He actually did not just do that. He did not just do that. Did you really have to do that? He did not just do that. He did not just do that. He did not just whip out the, the accent. I did. The accent? <laughs> oh I my did. gosh. Yeah, so, um, hey. welcome to Toku Secrets. We're, let's actually talk about Kamen Rider episode 14, because that's what we're here for. Pretty much. By Kamen Rider, he means Kamen Rider Ghost, not the original Kamen Rider series. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, the one with the ghost. And I mean, things. it's not like we were reviewing the original one before. I mean, hey, we could, we could be doing that right now. You don't know. You don't know my life. You don't know my struggle. Plus, plus isn't the, you know, isn't the freaking, the... Isn't the, you know, the video's actual picture going to be Ghost anyway, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, and the could, title. We, we could do the original Kamen Rider, but that'd take forever to watch, though. Yeah, I don't want to watch that. Sorry. Yeah, we, it'll take too much time to watch Kamen Rider. I'm already I'm trying to... I'm already trying to catch up on Kamen Rider Ghost and Zeozer and Dragon Ball Super and other anime on Crunchy Roll, and I don't have time to add another thing to my list right now. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of you, oh, George, uh, like, we are all actually going to cover that series, and so far we're liking it, but, uh, yeah. pretty much that we can say right now. And, and in the near crossover, so. Yeah, we are going to cross over, so we're going to talk about that, too, once we get to it. Yeah, um, just let me catch up on life, and then we'll start doing reviews on it. I'm trying to get back in the swing of reviewing in general, it's kind of been an interesting year. <laughs> Anyway. Very interesting here. Yeah. But anyway, let, let's get on to this episode, the stuff y'all subscribed for. Yes, yes, Black okay. Commander, take it away. Take it away. <laughs> oh my god. Please stop that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> the crap. Okay. Um, so. Oh my. Ah, uh, ugh. Okay. <laughs> Going off my head. <laughs> gotta, get, gotta get that image out of my head. Of what? Uh, okay, so for anybody who, <laughs> so in case you were wondering what the last episode was about, because it was kind of a continuation, to kind of just sum it up, uh, Takaru met up with this satellite scientist who, and the luminary of the day was a guy that was his name Ryomo, Ryoma Sakamoto. Was that his name? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, 
he said that he had to help him form like this Satcho alliance, which is similar to what uh, the actual Rio Ma Sakamoto did. And it turns out that he's trying that he wants him to forge an alliance between the engineer scientist and his dad because there's issues between them. And he briefly found the guy who who killed him in the first episode, and he killed and he defeated him in a very anticlimactic battle. And now the two part continues. So yeah. That's just a recap of what happened last time. Pretty good episode, but uh, they probably didn't have to bring back the guy who killed his car. So, so anyway, uh, as the episode uh, starts off, uh, Ryoma, uh, he he possessed uh, the, the satellite engineer. I can't remember what his name is, but uh, but I, he's possessed the guy, and now he's eating some modern foods. And and meanwhile, Akari, she's showing everyone how the Gammas have how the Gamma have been interfering with the network because that was a thing that was happening in the last episode where they were going to uh, where they were like hacking into people's phones and like knocking them out and everything, and. You know, Dakari wants to stop this whole stop this whole thing, but Anari says that you know he they why like, he should leave it to them, and Dakari says that you know he has to focus on bringing the guy and his dad together. Gotta make the Satcho Alliance come together. Satcho Alliance. Huh? So, so no, 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 you oh, okay. okay. Um, so, um, so Takaru decides to go ahead and keep trying to talk to the, talk to the, the, um, father, um, to have, have him confront his son, but, uh, Nagamasa kind of stops him and, uh, starts elaborating on just what their problem is, and, um, he explains that in the past um, he and his father and brother were working on on developing things for space development and uh, and their father was a really um, he, he was a really big influence on them on teaching them that you know anything's possible and stuff and, but um, but as time went on, uh, Nagamasa's brother actually died in a car accident, and uh, pretty messed up. Mm-hmm. And then after after that, uh, after that, Nagamasa and his father kind of gotten a couple arguments, and uh, and. Pretty much, pretty much, Nagamasa still wants to keep on the keep on the dream that they once had, but their father is too shook up by the brother's death that he doesn't want to do it anymore. And so this gives us more insight on on the father and son's relationship on and why the father is how he is right now. Mm-hmm. Um, Takaru asks him if he's giving up his dream and uh, before he can answer that we get cut off to um, to Akari and Onari still researching on what the satellite gun was or the astronaut gun was doing with those satellites and Akari points out that there's a lo- certain location that's looking peculiar, so she uh, she asks Onari to go check it out with Shibuya, while um, Naruto stays with her to, to help out um, with her research. <laughs> now, um, Akari calls Makoto who's at the hospital with his little brother, I mean, little sister, Cannon. And, um, and she, she, 
Um, she she tells him that she's worried Takaru might get in danger at some time and to, you know, keep an eye out and to go and go and see if he can help him out. So, uh, so back back to Takaru and uh, Nagamasa. They they go back to the the plant that the father was working at and Takaru offers to go and talk to talk to his father first and um and Takaru goes ahead and uses his ghost ability he's to to just go face through the the walls of the building in order to um in order to infiltrate the place and go directly into uh the father's office yeah, see, you can sometimes use that sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it's it's nice to see a see a reminder that yeah he's a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. then again, that is kind of a little running joke in the series of how Takaru always forgets that he's he's a ghost and he can right. do certain things. Well, he's pretty much going where he wants to, really. Yeah, pretty much. Um. But uh, he see he sees um the father looking at looking at a past photo of of him with his two sons and reflecting on how happy those times were, and and he and he he shows that he he actually is a little bit proud of uh, Nagamasa for continuing on with the dream that they once had even though he himself isn't quite on board with it so um Takaru goes ahead and makes himself visible and as, as expected the father is like hey man where the heck did you come from and and, and Takaru's response is that don't even matter. Let's let's get on to things that are more important. Like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even know that. <laughs> Just breeze that aside. And um, he he starts talking to him about that, and um, and he he tries to convince the father once again to help out his son, and um, the father reveals that. The reason why he doesn't want to participate is because he doesn't. He's afraid of the the pain that it'll bring to him to have to remember the things that uh, that his late his late son did, and and he he doesn't want to go through all those emotions. It, he basically uh, wants to lose another, another kid, basically. Yeah. But but Takaru reminds him of all the things that he had within him to to motivate him to to try to put, try to uh, try to push on space exploration and invention and all that stuff mm-hmm. and uh, he starts he starts kind of seeing. Uh, his point so back to back to Onari and Shibuya um they're they're looking through the forest for uh for some clues in the area and uh Shibuya actually decides to use the spider lantern and lo and behold they find a whole lot of ganma around the area Dun, dun, dun. So so on, uh, so they they try to they try to um contact the others to to warn them but we but they actually get caught. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Wah wah wah. <laughs> um, Ta- Takaru goes outside to. Um, to talk to Nagamasa and report to him of the the progress he's made with his father, 
and uh, Ryoma comes back and possesses the boy again and uh, he he's like hey, you finally figured it out huh and uh, before before they talk even further they finally get a call from Shibuya telling him that that him and Onari are about to get jumped. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Takuru is about to go over there, but Ryoma actually stops him and warns him that uh, panic can lead to mistakes, and and he he actually uh, brings up on on how how good it is to have friends who are able to help help him out and it, and it's funny he mentions this because this is the exactly when Makoto comes and saves uh Onari and Shibuya. <laughs> yep. And uh so 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 now um while Makoto's handling those those gone uh, Takaru decides to go ahead and and finally unite the father and son so he so he pulls Nagamasa into the plant brings him over to his father and finally just pours it out on them with a with a big old speech about how they need how they should come together once again and fulfill the dream that they once had to to build space technology to ex- to explore and uh, uncover the the vast amounts of space you know all that stuff and so, then the Sacho alliance is born <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep so um Akari finally Akari finally figures out that uh, there's a satellite where the where the radio the radio waves that were uh, messing up people's phones and stuff earlier. She finds the satellite that those came from, and this is where uh, where Alan also is. So uh, we we get an interesting moment where we we go to we go to Alan again and he actually has a flashback uh talk where he was talking to his older brother Adele and no no he does not say hello people so <laughs> y'all, y'all can, y'all can hello. shut up with <laughs> but um th- this dr- this is a a weird random drop of information but regardless it's something that is very interesting with the Godma and gives us another clue on on exactly how they think so uh well so Alan was actually talking to his brother Adele about the icons and it turns out they didn't know about the icon's power to grant wishes, and he he was asking his brother why why he never told him that, and uh, Adele, uh, well he well he he specifically he specifically kind of points at how they were able to bring Cannon's body back, and Adele. Adele points out that to the Ganma, it's not that important to obtain a body, and uh, a body and a physical body is of no use to them. That they they don't really need it, it other than being a weapon. Yep. And, and the god the Ganma doesn't require the Ganma don't require bodies according to him something like that so we'll be, um, we'll be important later mm-hmm. so dun, dun, dun. um 
Alan yeah. bows to his brother, but we do see a slight hint of of anger in his face. So this this whether this means that he disagree this might mean he disagrees with that notion or it might mean that he actually does want a body we're not too sure but this is a really interesting plot point about the gamma we got some sibling rivalry that's about the spark yep about to get them cat fights but um but back, but back to back to the actual story, here. Um, the the astronaut Gamba says that the soul sucking is about to begin. So, um, so the gun, so it expands the power of the the. No, oh, no, it it expands the range of the of its power to a larger area and we and we see a lot more people having their souls uh removed and um, nagamasa is actually informed that the satellite being used is actually one of the ones that he and his father originally produced so this makes it a lot more personal towards them. So, um, Makoto, Anari, and Shibuya finally arrive there, and uh, and uh, just as Okari is about to tell Takuru all this, uh, she also gets her soul snatched. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and um, Ta- Takuru also notices uh, a few workers at the plant also getting their souls snatched, and uh, and so yeah, he 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 clearly sees what's going on, and uh, and he. And your your sense the one that pretty much fills them in on what's going on, that the the satellite gamma is collecting some souls. So uh, so Takaru has to go and stop that gamma, but um, but Sat and Cho decide that that they they need to also help because after all that's their satellite that the gamma is messing with. You don't mess with the fucking satellite. You don't mess with that satcho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't mess with the satcho satellite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um so at the at the satellite control center, um, Shibuya Shibuya uses the spider lantern again to reveal a lot of gamma around the around the area and. Uh, and so ta- so Takuru henshins up, and uh, and he find wait hold on does he? Yeah yeah he does. And um, Makoto also arrives and and transforms, turns to so they both team up and, and fight off. All, all these gone, but um, but just but uh, Alan Alan also comes in, and th- this is the first time we've seen Alan actually fight. <laughs> yeah, uh, he kicks he kicks ass. He, he, went, he, came, he went in like a boss. <laughs> I I don't know why he came in out of nowhere. Started doing some palm strikes. And during the battle, uh, this is something to note. Uh, Makoto actually tries to use this uh, one icon, but it doesn't work. And uh, Alon starts like mocking him, saying, I-, "I can't remember specifically what he said, but like, there's an issue with Makoto that prevents him from using the icon currently." Yeah. 
yeah. which it's never happened. Like it's like okay, like usually like he would be able like to say hey, you know, give me your power or whatever. But here it's not working. It's like okay, this is the first time that's happened. Yeah, like when you uh, like when you press the side of the icon to activate it, uh, you know, uh, this time it wasn't working. Like it's like something that wasn't switching on pretty much. Obviously, the button's stuck. <laughs> needs a contact. Needs a contact Bandai. <laughs> Plastic, plastic icons. So you know he's a. Uh, that's uh, and by and by the way, this is the same icon that if if those of y'all were paying attention in previous episodes, they always showed this icon in the um like at the end of the episode where they show how many icons everyone has. Yeah. They Makoto's always had this one. And we just haven't seen what it is. And uh, this explains why. But um but anyway, that's that's some foreshadowing for some some other time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um uh Alan Alan orders the satellite Ganma to go ahead and take care of these guys. So um so he goes in, but Takuru actually, but Ryoma actually allows Takuru to use himself, and uh, he he comes out of he finally comes out of Nagamasa and becomes the Ryoma icon, and uh, Takuru in boost mode finally uses uh, Ryoma Ryoma Damashi. So. Uh, so the satellite Ganma tells them that he'll he'll just go up into space and uh, retake the. Oh wait, hold on, did I? Yes. No. Okay, pretty much the Ganma like decides to retake the satellite up in space, like physically, and Jikaru uses Captain Ghost to. Yeah, about about the retaking part. I- I'm sorry. I, I forgot to mention the father and son actually went in the control center and actually teamed up and and retook the control of the satellite. But now the satellite Ganma wants to go and undo that. So And of course sorry. the minute that Jikaru gets up in the space, he has to make a reference to Common Rider for his days. He says, Uchu Kita and uh and uh, for those of you that are and for those of you who haven't seen Forze, that was like his uh, pre-battle catchphrase. Like, he would put his arms together and throw them up in the air as he said, Uchu Kita, which means yeah. space is awesome or something. I don't know. Yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah. So, yeah that pretty pretty kind of much, that, that's pretty much a staple in the Kamen Rider universe now. It, like, if you're a Kamen Rider fan, you have to know that. <laughs> Basically, his everything's awesome version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like now count up your sins, Uchu Gita, it's showtime and what was it what was it that guy in Yeah, whatever. I mean This is my stage now. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. And uh so you know, to cut a long story short, Takaru uh he uses his sunglasses slasher, once again using that cool thing where he puts the icons into the sunglasses to defeat the Gamma. And this, this time he uses it in gun mode. Yep. And that was pretty cool, actually. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, the rule of tokusatsu, guns that become swords are awesome. Or yeah. stuff. But, uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, you know, uh, so... His toy sales will go through the roof. Roof. <laughs> Don't be quite an easy rider, man. <laughs> <laughs> you but, got to, man, when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> So yeah, everybody in Japan gets their souls back, and you know, Alan's not not very happy about this, and you know, they celebrate their teamwork. I'm pretty sure that like the father and the son start working on, continue to work on their satellite because you know the Sacho alliance can't be broken now, and uh, and Ryoma's on deck. That's and that's it. That's the episode. Yay! So final thoughts. Ronald, you want to go first since you already 
Sure. Um, first of all, I like that this was a two parter. Um, I like I liked how they used the father and son's whole struggle to kind of have it integrated into the into the plot and the the struggle with the Ganma and how they they weren't their thing wasn't just something that was superfluous and you know wasn't really connected to what was going on um and in a way they were kind of useful since you know they were the ones that actually retook the satellite um and of course and of course that huge that huge bomb of information on the Ganma that that part's probably the biggest part of the episode to me. Yeah. I like what they did with Alon in this episode, like giving us some more background on his family drama, plus the fact that he's able to like just bounce Makoto around even though he doesn't have a monster form. So that was pretty cool. That boy was using gentle fist. He's like, ugh, gentle fist. Eight palms, four palms. <laughs> hmm. I really like how Takeru like just starts looking at people's souls and he's starting to bond like with it, it's not like really obvious right now, but he's gonna start bonding more with his icons as time goes on. Mm-hmm. And I think it was a really cool thing to have Ryoma be the first one because Ryoma really taught him a lot about the bonding with an icon and how to become you know equals with them. Because they're not just tools, they're like, you know, actual people. Not really much, I mean, it was pretty much a standard, uh, you know, th- this entire episode was pretty much just one of those typical common Rider two-parter episodes. It was a good one, don't get me wrong, but, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was cool, like, with the one-off characters, and it did pretty good with the actual characters in this episode, like, especially Avon and Chikara. And yeah. plus, you know, as, as a guy who really likes Forza, because, I mean, I know it's not the best, but it was my first Common Rider series, so I have to appreciate that reference, of course. <laughs> I mean, it's all, it, you, like, love or hate Forza, that, that catchphrase is just, <laughs> yeah, it's I just mean, hilarious. Come on, I mean, you can't say that you hate it. It's, and they, y'all, y'all know y'all were doing it, too, but every um, time, every time that catchphrase came up. Y'all know y'all were doing it too. Y'all y'all put y'all's hands up and scream that. Yeah, you were <laughs> no pretty bad. much you did exactly what Yuki did every time Gentaro Hinchin. You pretty much did the exact yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that was a running gag. Every time he would hinch and like she would literally do the exact same thing. Like she would pretend to like pull the switch and to activate the belt and then do the whole like it's Yuki that thing, so Right. So yeah. So, but yeah, that was a pretty cool reference, even if it was just like two seconds. But yeah, overall, it was a pretty good episode. I mean, Indeed. I mean, right. I mean, it's a space related episode, and anything with space is cool. Hell when, yeah! I really did enjoy all that stuff too, like all the space and satellites and really fun stuff. But yeah, I think uh, that's all we have to say about this episode. Unless Anthony has something to say. Um, yeah, I think these things say, um, episode overall was pretty good. Uh, the stuff with uh, Makoto fighting against uh, Alon was pretty, you know, good too. Like, we actually can see, like, that Alon is not just some, like, guy in the background that does all, like, the playing and stuff. He's actually a threat. Like, he can actually, like, you know, fight. You know, and the fact that, you know, that Takuru is still able to help people and stuff like that. He's like, sure, he may not be able to figure out what his what his actual dream is, but he has, you know, a goal set for himself still, you know, in a way, because he wants to help people. And like, you know, once he finds out what he what he wants wants, he can achieve that once he actually, you know, gets his body back and helps people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're all still good episodes, so I enjoyed it. Definitely.
if there's nothing else, then uh, I think we'll call it end over here. I guess so. Yep. All right. Well, mm. as always, we're Toku Secrets. We're a byproduct of AnimeSecrets.org. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, visit us on AnimeSecrets.org, obviously, because that's where all our stuff is. Um, stay tuned and keep on listening because we'll have some more podcasts coming up to you shortly. Peace out, everyone. Hey, you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. You can also check out Anime Secrets on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Do you want more than that? I know you do. Then go to our website where you can see daily updates and articles and exclusive interviews.